In this problem, we have four layers of material. First, we have refractory brick. So I'll call that refractory brick. And that's going to have a thermal conductivity, which I'll call KR, and a corresponding length, which I'll call LR. R, the subscript R, meaning, I guess, being a abbreviation for a refractory. The next, we have a layer of kaolin. Kaolin said to have a thermal conductivity, K sub K, a length of L sub K. We are also told in the problem that there may be layer of air over here and we are told that we can treat this layer as having the same thermal conductivity of the cowlin but I will list its length as length L A and last but not least we also have a layer of steel and that thermal conductivity I'll call KS and have a corresponding length LS. And we are told that the temperature or by the furnace is equal to 1150 degrees Celsius. I'll say this is by the furnace. And temperature over by the air, I'll call TA. TA is equal to 30 degrees Celsius. And we are told the corresponding values for length and thermal conductivity, except for our length of our air layer. And so these are the corresponding lengths and thermal conductivities for each respective materi uh, material. And we are also given that there is heat loss occurring at 300, 300 watts per meter cubed, or excuse me, per meter squared. And so in heat transfer, when we have multiple layers of material, the way that we calculate our heat flux and heat rate, we have Q is equal to Q over A, little Q indicating heat flux, and so Q, capital Q is our heat in joules, which is divided by our area, typically in meters squared. And this is equal to our temperature change over the sum of the length of that particular um, material divided by its respective thermal conductivity. So how can we apply this equation? Well. Let's go ahead and do just that. One more thing we can go ahead and calculate before uh, getting into applying this equation is calculate our delta T. And so our delta T will simply, simply be our difference in temperature, which we can say is 1150 minus 30. So our delta T will be equal to 1120 degrees Celsius. And so taking this equation, let's go ahead and simplify it to just simply Q is equal to delta T over the sum of our lengths divided by our thermal conductivities. Now let's rearrange this so that we get the sum of our lengths over thermal conductivities to the left. So we get sum K is equal to delta T over Q. And so now let's go ahead and plug in our respective lengths and thermal conductivities of our materials in the series of layers. So first we're going to have our length of our refractory brick divided by thermal conductivity or refractory brick plus length of our kaolin brick divided by thermal conductivity of our Kalman brick plus the length of our air divided by 
the thermal conductivity or cowling brick, which we were told to use. And last but not least, our steel. It's the length of our steel divided by the thermal conductivity of our steel. And this will all be equal to delta T over our heat flux. So now what we want to do is isolate and solve for our length LA because we are being asked what is the length of this layer suppose it were to be air. So what we're going to do is essentially subtract um, all our I guess essentially we just want to isolate our our length of the air layer term. So to do that we'll say the length of our air layer term divided by thermal conductivity of Kalin brick is equal to delta T over heat flux minus LR over KR minus LK over KK minus LS over KS. And what we can also do is to isolate our LA is we might as well multiply both sides by the thermal conductivity of the Kalin brick the KK and we get that length of our air layer is equal to the terms on our right multiply by our thermal conductivity of Kalin brick and so what we're going to do now is go ahead and plug in our values and so it's going to get a bit messy but um bear with me so LA will be equal to our 1120 divided by 300 minus the length of our refractory brick which was 200 and I guess it was 200 millimeters so we're going to need to convert to our SI unit of meters so then 200 millimeters will be equal to 0 0.2 meters divided by our thermal conductivity of refractory brick which was 1.7 minus the length of our Kalman brick, 0 0.1, divided by thermal conductivity of our Kalman brick, which was 0 0.17, minus the length of our steel, which was 0 0.006, divided by our thermal conductivity of steel, which was 17, all multiplied by the thermal conductivity of Kalman brick. 0 0.17 and doing this messy calculation we get a corresponding length of that air layer as 0 0.5146 meters or we can also say that it is 514.6 millimeters either answer works just as a matter of what units you want to be in.